I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I'm a coach who helps people professionally in a number of different ways. And today I want to talk with you about the final interview with the president of a firm and how you need to prepare for it in advance. Now, you have to understand that on their side, They've gotten the briefing from subordinates because you're not the only person that they're talking to, right? They're maybe meeting two, three, as many as four individuals that have been referred to them for this final interview. And each of them has a strength. Each of them has a reason to be liked. But there is a weak spot in the background. There's some perceived deficiency. You may be rated number one. You may be rated number four. And thus, the first thing you need to do before going into this round is review what's happened on the previous rounds. Not just simply what you've said, which you need to do, and the stories that you've told, which you need to do, but also where were the rough edges that surfaced? Maybe it was the size of the budget that you led. Maybe it was the size of the organization that you ran. Maybe you were in too big an environment for them. Maybe you are in too small an environment for them. I'm just putting those out as examples of rough edges that can surface going into this round. And trust me, they are going to dig in and explore those. Why? Because ultimately, the president of a firm wants to believe that they can trust you. Catch that one. It's no longer about skills and, and experience per se, because other people have evaluated them. Yes, they're going to do some questions along those lines, but ultimately, when they're making the decision to give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down, they want to believe that they can trust you for the role. One of the ways that this can be tested is asking a question for which the correct answer will be, I don't know. I can kind of puzzle it out with you. I don't know. And the ability to look across at a key interview with the president of a firm and say, I don't know, is a great test that I know quite a few of them have used in order to assess whether or not the person in front of them has the spine to tell them the truth. Catch that one. The spine to tell them the truth. They also want to get a sense of how you'd be with your peers, how you'd be as a leader. Are you a leader or not? How does that come across in your uh, manner of behavior? Now, often people will say to you, you have to come in enthusiastic. You have to be passionate. I don't necessarily buy into that because some company presidents are very analytical. And yes, they may delight in what they do, but the corporate culture is analytical. You know what you've seen there, you have to match it. And you can also do some research in advance in order to determine what this person tends to like, what their background is. Remember, you've got a great research tool available, not just simply in LinkedIn, but in Google. Where have they spoken? What have they spoken about? Are they on YouTube? Have they been videoed in some engagement that you can review? So again, they want to get a sense of your leadership and how it meant match for their organization. How are you under pressure? There's always going to be a certain amount of pressure in the role that you're stepping up for. And they're going to want to hear stories that relate to how you've handled comparable situations in your career. Give them a sense of size and scope of the crisis that you felt, uh, that you dealt with, what you did to resolve it. Think SOAR, or actually it's better than that, PAR, P-A-R, problem, action, result. Keep it simple, one minute tops. Concise stories work very well. Let them drive in. And you can say as you end your PAR solution, I can go into more depth if you like, but I just chose to give you a high-level high perspective on it. And that gives them the opportunity to choose how in-depth that they want to uh, go for. Lastly, be prepared with quality questions. Not things that you could find on the website, but things that relate to your uh, proposed relationship with them. You know some of the things that have surfaced previously from what you've been told, either a meeting with potential peers, with the board, with others. Be prepared with quality questions, again, that could not be answered on the website that will allow you to Find out something significant for you and also demonstrate the quality of your intelligence to them. 
Remember, they're not looking for imbeciles. They're looking for smart leaders who can handle people, and sometimes handling people includes them. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. My website is TheBigGameHunter.us. Go there and go exploring. There's a lot there to help you. In addition, if you're interested in interview preparation for this, you can schedule time for an interview coaching session for 45 minutes. I'd love to get you ready for this round. In addition, in addition, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. And if you have a question for me, two ways to get it answered. Number one is if you want a three to five minute video back just for you, what you do is the big game hunter.us forward slash video answers. Or if you want to schedule 15 to 20 minutes with me, the big game hunter.us forward slash live. Have a terrific day, good luck, and be great. Take care.